is a fitting song, that last song, for sure, because God has been good. Amen. And He's going to keep being good. May not feel like it sometimes, but He does have your best interest in mind. If you've got your Bibles, you can begin turning to the book of John, chapter 14. Uh, while you're turning there, I want to... Jeremy said I'm the watchman, and I'm supposed to be calling out warnings and doing that, and I do that a lot, and that's because I love him, so I want to see him Amen. make smart choices, that's especially right. as young as you old, you older people, you're old enough to know better, it's that's really, right. pastors shouldn't have to do some of that stuff, but nevertheless, <laughs> it is what it is, but uh, you can put this on the prayer list, Spencer uh, Centrin, I, I guess that's how you pronounce his last name, he's one of the Sons of Thunder out there in uh, North Carolina, uh, he posted this morning, uh, special prayer request. I have a kid on his bus route, one of the bus kids they pick up for the church, for the Danish church, that is 10 years old and he has attempted suicide. He's in the hospital. Don't know all the details or what, what, what happened. He just said the Lord knows the situation and needs prayer. Uh, I say that for two ways. Why don't you go ahead and tell me about the problems you're having with your church today? Amen. 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 Uh, it's quiet in here. That's okay. Maybe we get a little dissatisfied and we get a little not so content with things and we get to uh, murmuring and backbiting and all these problems we got, maybe the Lord will put something like that in your life so you ain't got time to focus on all the nitpicking stuff. That's right. Amen. That's right. Anyone in here got a 10-year-old youngin' that's in the hospital that's attempted to kill himself? No, sir. Tell me about your problems after church. Amen. All right, now that we took serious for a moment and you've turned to the book of John chapter 14 this morning. Uh, I will tell you this, I read where they uh, they had this young man, a younger boy, I don't know, mid-teens, uh, somewhere of that, that nature, and <clears throat> he was coming up through the, the school, you know, and, and beginning to show some, some decent signs that he might be, uh, you know, rather smart and intelligent and, and just didn't really know which direction the kid was going to go as he uh, approached that young adult, adult stage in life. And uh, so the mom and dad decided, they said, here's what we'll do, we'll put this stuff on his bed and whatever he picks, maybe that'll be a sign that... Um, that, that's going to be the direction he head, head, heads in life. And so uh, they did They did a Bible. They placed that on, on a dresser in his bedroom. And they said if he picks up that Bible, he's going to be a minister. Then they went in there and they laid a pistol next to that. And they said if he picks that up, he's going to be a gangster. Then they went in there and laid a $20 bill next to that. And said if he picks that up, he's going to be a politician. Then they went in there and put a bottle of wine on there. And they said if, they pick, if he picks that up, he's going to be a bootlegger or a drunk. One of, you know, one of the two or both, nevertheless. And they said that young man went... went Got home, went upstairs, went to his room, and mom and dad were sort of peeking around the corner there, watching to see what he'd pick up out of all four of those things there. And he just picked all of them up in his arm and just took off with it. And they said, bless God, he's going to be the Pope. <laughs> hey, man. Amen. Hey. I, I got serious at first. Now we can laugh. That's funny. Hey, man. Amen. Hey, man and hey, man. You'll be all right today. I still got it out for the Catholic Church. Amen. You didn't know that. A bunch of liars, man, ripping right. people off and ripping them out of the salvation. Amen. I got no use for it today. Yep, uh, if you had John chapter 14, say amen. Amen. Jesus says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions, and if it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again, I will come again, Amen. I will come again and That's receive right. you unto myself, Amen. that where I am, there you may be also. You see, He wants to be with you for eternity. Right. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I like this. Yes, preacher. Here's what he saith unto him. You listening this morning? Yes, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. No man. Amen. That's that means right. everybody. Right. No man, no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. You're speaking to himself. That's right. Amen. You'll come by Christ, or you'll not come at all today. Yep. Amen. Amen. And amen. Uh, let me see here. Where else? How far? Much further? I was going to go down. He said, "If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him." Uh, Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth, sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, have I, been, have I been so long with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that has seen me has seen the Father, and how sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Amen. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very uh, 
works say. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I shall, that I that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father, and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Father, I thank you this morning, Lord, for allowing us to gather in your house. I thank you for the anointing teaching this morning, the anointing singing this morning, Father Lord, and I pray that you would help this preacher this morning to preach your infallible word. God, I pray you just help me to lift you up and brag on you for a good bit this morning. Father, I pray that we would just see this morning how good of a God you are and how good you've been to us. And Father, I pray for anyone in our midst that's lost without Christ, without hope this morning. Lord, that you'd convict them by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, draw them to the altar. Draw them to salvation this morning, Father Lord, to call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray as always that that door out of here would seem about a mile away and this altar would seem about a step away this morning. Father Lord, I pray for anyone that's lost, God, that you'd save them today. And Lord, I pray for those that have gathered. God, you'd anoint our ears and our hearts. Father, Lord, I pray you'd give us from your infallible word. And we'd leave here full. We'd come back here full, ready to get filled up all over again this evening. Father, Lord, I love you. I praise you. I ask all of this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by his precious blood. And everyone said, amen, amen and amen. You are welcome to be seated in the presence of God this morning. I don't mean to sound hateful, y'all, with the first thing I brought up, but there's people with real issues That's in the world right. today. Yep. Real issues. Not, well, so-and-so looked at me funny, or so-and-so did That's this, right. or so-and-so didn't do that, and I think this, and I think that. I, I meant what I said. You better be careful handling things like that, especially God's things, because it may be He put something in your path that'll sidetrack you to something that drastic, That's so right. you ain't got time to sit and worry about things Amen. that don't amount to nothing. I think it's like the preachers say, we need to get good at majoring in the majors and minoring in the minors That's today. Right. A lot of people try to major in the minors and vice versa, and what we need to do is major in the majors today. There's people going to hell today. There's not time to sit around and worry about things that don't amount to a hill of beans. You've got it good today. You've got it good today. I know you got to listen to me preach twice a week, but you still got it good today. Let's worry about other things today is what I'm trying to say. Now, I want to deal with the concept this morning by power of the Holy Ghost. I pray that God anoints me and gives me unction this morning for us to examine the Lord. We preach sometimes, or I preach that message about examining yourselves. The Apostle Paul told them over in the church of Corinth to examine yourselves whether you be in the faith or not. And I had this thought this week about examining the Lord. And, and, and we're going to do this for a few fold purpose here and I'll get to that. Uh, but I want to say this because we know that the Lord Jesus Christ went on trial a little over 2,000 years ago. Amen? Amen. It wasn't even a, a, a just trial. The trial was, was, was a sham. It wasn't even right. right. It wasn't right. handled right. Everything about it was wrong. But yet he went on trial. Right. And God began to deal with me about this that here we are a little over 2,000 years later and the Lord Jesus Christ is still on trial by a lost and dying right. world. Yeah. They're always trying to hold him up and examine him in a way to disprove him or say that he's not Lord or that he's not King or that he didn't die or that he wasn't crucified or that he didn't ri ri raise from the dead. He's still on trial today. Right. Now when he comes back at the second advent there won't be no trial about him. Right. It will be him ruling and reigning with a rod of iron. Right. It will be him executing his authority as King of Kings That's and Lord right. of Lords. But right now, God is, the Lord Jesus Christ is, the meek and lowly Jesus that offers anyone to come, whosoever will, Amen. let him come. That is the offer. That is the extension, Amen. the invitation today. That is the way it is. But when he comes back, and it's getting close today, brethren, yeah. it ain't going to be anybody holding him to the fire and then, uh, then holding him under the magnifying glass and saying, well, here's the reason I don't believe and here's why I can't believe and this and this and that. They will know that he is Lord of Lords, that he is King of Kings, and there won't be any ifs, ands, or buts about it. But I want to talk about this trial today that the world still puts him through. And sometimes we as Christians, we get sort of that same attitude when things aren't going our way, and I don't expect a lot of amens there, but I know people, if somebody would, Brother Skunk, if you could kick that air on for a minute, I don't want to have a heat stroke today, I'd greatly appreciate it, but uh, I, I want you to get this this morning, I want you to get this, 
Paul goes on in another epistle and he says something about his light aff afflictions. Now, if, if you know anything about Paul's afflictions, I wouldn't consider them light. I think if anyone ever had excuse to get mad and get frustrated and throw a pity party, it would have been the Apostle Paul. I'm not saying he would have been justified in doing it, but if anyone had an excuse, it wasn't modern day Americans that's got liberty and freedom and they can go to any church they want. They can pick up any book they want that says Bible on it. They can go to uh, where the music's good or the coffee's better or the child cares this. I don't, I don't buy into Americans Amen. being persecuted today. Right. We've seen some light afflictions. We've seen that one lady that wouldn't marry the sodomites or give them a marriage license. We see the, the, the bakers that wouldn't bake a cake for the sodomite wedding and they tried to... That, that's light affliction today. That's right. It's not real affliction until bullets are flying over your head or people's trying to kill your youngins right. and so on and yeah. so forth. But Paul said, my light afflictions persecutions you face today, brethren, they're not really anything to do with you. You need to remember that. Right. Amen. Amen. Jeremy covered this in Sunday school, and I've had these notes down before I ever got here today, so I'm not copying him, and he ain't copying me. But they hate you today because they hate the Lord Jesus That's Christ. Right. You need to get that through your mind. we we, we got to get out of this coddled, sissy, la la type of Christianity, yeah. this effeminate Christianity that we've got into, yeah. that everybody's out for me and woe is me, and this and that. Jesus said you can be sure of one thing. If they hated me, they're going to hate you because no servant is greater than his master. Amen. Amen. And amen. we got to get that through our head in America today, that if you ain't being persecuted, there's really something wrong. If you don't have any enemies in life, there's really something wrong. If you don't have people that dislike you because of your stand on this book, there's something wrong with that. Right. If you stand for this book, if you stand for God, if you stand for righteousness, if you stand for holiness, people will dislike you. That's right. Amen and amen. amen. Suck it up, get used to it, and just serve God. That's, That's only right. if you want some profound therapeutic uh, address on that, suck it up and just serve God. I don't know what to say. Pick up the book, get close to God, snuggle in real close to the Lord, love your wife, love your kids, love your family, whatever you can do in the midst surrounding all that important stuff, I give you first and just keep on trucking, man. Amen. Just keep on going, keep on serving. He's coming back and it ain't going to matter very much longer anyway. Amen. But I want to tell you this this morning, they hate you because they hate him. But here's something interesting I'd heard someone say here a while back and I never thought about it and I began making a list of things after this, this topic was mentioned, there was some lost people that actually got it with the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, I don't really get it, preacher. Pilate's wife lost as a goose in a horse race, and she said, have nothing to do with this just man to her husband. Right. Yeah. She wasn't saved, but she got it. That's yeah. right. She knew he was a just man. Y'all yep. need to shout. He's a just man. Yeah. He was a just man. He is a just Amen. man. He will always be just. Right. There was nothing wrong with him. That's right. And she right. was lost, and she got it. Amen. amen and amen. Pontius Pilate, a, a wicked Roman authoritative person, said, I find no fault in him. Amen. It's a shame there's a lot of lost people in the Scripture that at least got that much, and you got people over here that the Gospel has just been catered to them. It's a gravy train with biscuit wheels, brethren, and it's right there in front of them all the time, and they can't figure it out. Right. As I said, I've been on this kick for three weeks. It's amazing to me. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten-year-old kids that know more about where they're headed when they That's die. Right. They know more about the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. They know more about the Bible. They know more about doctrine. They know more about things That's you shouldn't do as a Christian. Right. You know, there's people 50, 60, 70 years old and can't figure it out. Right. It blows my mind. Amen. Amen. Pilate said, I find no fault in him. Can I, say, can I say this as we get into it? I've never found any fault in him. Amen. Amen. Right. I, I find a lot of fault in me. But I've never been able to say I find fault with the Savior. Amen. I don't care how bad I've went through <clears throat> something. I've never been able to say, you know what, that was that was fault on his part. He was wrong. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Never. Not one time. That's right. Some of y'all better testify and help me out or I'm going to get a whole of it. I've never found nothing wrong with him today. Yeah. I find he's always on time. Yeah. He's yeah. always Preach. doing what needs to be done. Yeah. He's always righteous. Yeah. He's always holy. Yeah. He is perfect yes. today. I find yeah. that every time. Amen. The more I read this book, I find out I find a lot of fault with me. Amen. And Jeremy's right. That's why people want to trash it. They don't like That's it. That's right. You do yourself a world of good when you start looking at yourself for what you really are right. in terms of the Lord Amen. versus what the world right. tells you you are. Yeah. Right. And Jeremy's right on that. I'm going to back him all the way. I thought there for a second I was going to have to pay for some of the stuff he was saying. But, <laughs> uh, but I'm just going to back everything Amen. he said this morning. Amen. I do. That's right. I do. People don't like the book. What are you going to do? Change it. 
That's what you got to do. That's what they have to do. Change it. But I still got a copy. Amen. I know better. Amen. They've tried to take it. I wouldn't. I don't even have that in my notes. Let me go on. Pilate's wife said, "Had nothing to do with this just man." Pilate said, "I find no fault in him." The thief in the cross looked over at the other thief on the cross and basically, in layman's terms, told him to shut his mouth. He said, "We have received." Uh, in, justly for what we've done. He said, but this man hath done nothing amiss. Can I tell you today, I've never seen him do anything amiss in my life. There's been times I've been going through something and I thought, surely to goodness, this ain't the way it's supposed to be. And then when Shane gets out of the way and the storm passes by and I just sit there and trust God and everything, all the smoke settles, I look back and thought, man, that wasn't a miss. That was right on time. That was perfect. That's right. what needed to be That's done. Right. Hey, I've been through some bad church situations and lost people, and I can tell you it was not a mess. It needed to be done. Yep. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. That's right. That means if you're in a church to cause problems, you'd be better off to hit the road, Jack. That's right. And don't you come back no more, no more. Amen. Amen. You say, well, that ain't very loving. I'm not called to love people that are trying to disrupt the church. That's right. I'm called to preach the truth Amen. and deal with it. And if you won't get it right, it ain't yep. my problem anymore. That's right. You say, oh, I don't know. I got scripture for mine. How about you? The thief on the cross said this man had done nothing amiss. The centurion that sit there at the foot of the cross after the great earthquake and all that, he said, truly, this was the Son of God. Right. I'm still dealing with lost people. Yeah, right. Some of you say people need to look at that and say, man, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of confessing going on there. It may not be confessing for salvation, but they're at least testifying of the Lord. Right. Amen and amen. Yeah. He said, truly, this was the Son of God. Over in Luke, you read that he also said, certainly, this was a righteous man. Yeah. Do you all not know that that's how he is? You ain't you've been saved more than 10 minutes. You ain't figured that much out about the Lord. You say, preacher, you don't know what I'm going through. No, but I know what he went through. And he did it for you. And if he can go through all that for you, that don't that, that definitely means there ain't no reason you can't get through what you're going through. That's right. That's right. So I want to tell you this morning, look at Judas Iscariot. What did he say at the end of it? I've betrayed innocent blood. Yep, yep, yep. That's the man that betrayed him with a kiss. That's, right. That's the man that handed him over to be beaten and crucified for your sins. That's right. That man had a devil in him. That man was full of evil. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen? The Bible says Judas has his own special place in hell. Yeah. Yep. Wicked of wicked. Jesus said it had been better for him to have never been born. Yeah, that's right. Now we can get real deep theological crazy talk right there and some of you may stand around and scratch your head but you just need to know this much Judas was full of the devil he betrayed the Lord Jesus Christ with a kiss had him turned over to be crucified for your sins and he ends up saying at the end of it I betrayed innocent blood yep. That's right. That's right. he got more sense than some people That's right. he got more sense than some Christians go out here living like hell acting like hell doing everything else the world does That's right. amen. Amen. amen giving him a bad name that's right. Because what they see you do, inevitably, that's Amen. what they attribute to God. Yep. Yep. Well, I ain't going to go be a Christian because that's what they do. That's all they're got. I, I've heard it. You've heard it. Just get your mind right today. Amen. Amen. Right. And then there's most people that are like Herod. When they took Jesus over to Herod, I, I didn't write down the whole scripture, but Herod, it said that Herod had been looking forward to seeing him because he'd heard about things. And here's what Herod won. And he hoped to have seen some miracles done by him. That's how a lot of worldly people are. And that's how some of you Christians are. Yep, yep, yep. You want to see him do something big before you'll move. Yep, that's right. yep. We're not in the apostolic signs and wonders. Right. Right. I've seen God do big things, but it ain't the way Herod was wanting it. That's and it right. ain't the way the new apostolic yep. reformation wants it. Yep. It ain't the way Greg Locke wants it. That's it ain't right. the way Benny Hinn wants it. Yep. It's not like that. Amen. It's about seeing souls born that's into right. the kingdom of God. Amen. And God moving through situations. Amen. And God making a way when there didn't seem there was a way. Amen. There's things there to be seen, yeah. but not like Herod wants, and not like a lot of people want That's today. Right. Amen. A lot of people are like, Herod, I ain't moving until I see him do something. Yeah. We're well, going to be waiting a whole long That's time. Right. Right. Now, there are times God in his infinite wisdom and his infinite grace and his infinite mercy, mercy and his foreknowledge and all that stuff, he'll do something in somebody's life. But a lot of times it's him moving in a way to get you to move that you'd That's rather not right. took. Right. Just telling you. Just like I said at the onset about that young man that attempted to take his life. You better be careful. Amen. Yeah. Or God will get you to move and back off, or He'll shut your mouth by way of giving you That's something right. That's right. that don't really make you feel like talking too much anymore because you're focused on that. Yeah. That's right. Amen and amen. amen. I don't know why I'm on that, but somebody in here needs it today. You take it up with the Lord. Don't do like Jeremy said. You you don't. Jeremy said you shouldn't do, and get mad at me. That's right. Take it up with the Lord. That's right. Most people are like Herod. Luke twenty three eight. Where you find that? 
and he helped. He hoped to have seen some miracles done by him. I've seen things done by the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Seen good things done. Amen. I, 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 I'm not looking for the Lord to come out here and raise somebody from the dead. No, no, no. Nope. He, he still does that. That's right. When you're dead in your sins, That's you're right. still raised Amen. from the dead. That's right. 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 So I've seen him raise people from the dead, just not like these whack jobs out here in the charismatic church are trying to do it. That's right. That's right. You say, I can't believe you talk about all these people. I get sick of the lies. Amen. I get sick of the deceit. I get sick of the falsehoods and all that stuff they do like Bill Johnson and them out in Redding, California that had this family hanging on to the thought that this church was going to raise their dead daughter from the dead and it never happened. That's right. Amen. Amen. I get tired of it. I don't have this in my notes. I'm going to give it to you free. I get sick and tired of driving by Pentecostal churches that believe in all that stuff and have got handicapped parking spots out front. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And the miraculous healer up there preaching behind the pulpit's wearing the same thing I'm wearing. Amen. Hey, dummy, don't you think if you got those powers, you'd get rid of your vision problem? I would. Amen. If I had that power, that'd be the first thing That's I would right. do. Because I get sick of wearing glasses. Amen. Right. You know what I do? You know what I do after that? Amen. You want to know what I do? I drive to St. Jude's. That's right. Amen. Out of my own pocket. Amen. Off my own dime. And I'd run in there with all them little youngins laying in there with cancer and leukemia and different Amen. kinds of that And brother and I'd start healing everyone. Amen. Amen. Get mad at me all you want. Right. Why don't they do it? Amen. Right. There you go. Got That's news right. for you. You say, well, I, I know someone here all back told someone. I sit in a Benny Hinn service and I felt it. You can feel a lot of things. That's right. 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 You, you go to Kansas City Chiefs football game. I wouldn't waste my time or my money, but you can go there and feel something. That's right. That's right. I went to one because the ticket was paid for. Amen and amen. I ain't going right. to waste my money on that stuff. You like football, <laughs> more power to you. But when you're there in the atmosphere and the roar of the crowd, you start to feel things. Yep. Right. You can go to the most wicked foul concert that's known to man and you can start feeling things. That's right. right. It does not matter today that you felt something. That's amen. right. What matters is, is it line up with this book? Amen. Right. Amen. I give you a whole bunch of free points that I didn't even write down. <laughs> I'm sick of the deceit, brethren. Amen. And if ain't nobody going to say nothing about it, I'm going to. Amen. If you don't like it, you can like it, lump it, bump it, or jump it. It That's don't matter right. to me. That's I'm right. going to tell you the truth and go on about my day, and I'll go home tonight and lay my head on my pillow, and I'll go to sleep and get up and go to work tomorrow morning, and that'll be the end of it. Amen. Amen. Right. But it's time to use doctrinally sound truth in our mind yes. when examining That's things. Right. And here's some lost people that made accurate, accurate statements about the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 No fault in him. He's done nothing amiss. He was a righteous man. He's the son of God. I find no fault in him. Those are all accurate. Yep. Right. So here's where, we're, here, here's where we're getting. Maybe your argument about the people above, those people I mentioned, all of them saw things that helped them believe that. That kind of puts us in a pickle, right. does it not? Except Pilate, but Pilate's wife had had dreams had to come from God. That's right. That told her, you don't need to touch that man because he's a just man. And then Pilate examined him and said, I find no fault in him. So all those people actually seen something. Judas walked with him. That's right. Yeah. Seen all the miracles. The centurion at the foot of the cross, he's seen the dark, the darkness cover the earth. He's seen the earthquake. He's seen all that stuff going on. Amen. 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 The thief on the cross, he's seen all the ridicule, all that stuff going on. The men had heard about Jesus Christ. That was during the you didn't you didn't live in this time and not hear about Jesus Christ. That's right. right. So they all had some sort of help. And so that's what like people are like Herod. But here's what I'm going to say. Here's what I'm going to get to. Is there anyone in this sanctuary today that's saved, that's saved, that could testify against the Lord? Nope. No. Anyone here that can do that? No, sir. Saved people? I'm going to say this. This is a bold statement. It's impossible for you to testify against the Lord. Amen. Right. Lost people, you hate light because your deeds are evil, so you'll That's testify right. against them all day long. That's right. Now listen, it's going to be hard. The number one thing people would use, even saved people, where they get in a moment of despair and they get in a moment of frustration and they say something or they shoot off at the mouth towards the Lord, would probably be the loss of one of their kids. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be when you begin to start to probably testify against the Lord in your moment of ang anguish and despair and this and that. But you know, so you know something today? If you're saved, if you're saved and your child gets taken home to be with the Lord because they're young enough... That's right. Amen. Glory to God. That's right. That's hard to say. I've got two youngins. I don't Amen. want to see them go. But if they're in heaven around the throne, and I ain't got to worry about them getting mixed up with some black guy down here, I ain't got to right. worry about them never yeah. receiving the Lord Jesus Christ, and I ain't got to worry about them going to hell. See, that's our problem. It's our focus is here, temporary. Right. Amen. Right. Everything that seems temporary, things are not seen are eternal. Amen. So if they go to glory, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You want you want to know, I mean, I know I'm mean. You ain't got to tell me this, but you lost, any lost people that's got kids? And you say, 
the Lord took my kid and I hate God. I mean, people say this stuff and I've got no use yeah. for them. It ever occurred to you that the Lord took that young and home so they would go to heaven because you were going to lead them to hell? That's, right. That's right. right. There's a lot of people leading their kids to hell. That's right. right. Yes. I say glory to God for taking them home. Amen. Amen. That's a hard testimony to make, brethren. To think about a young and having to suffer or go through something, that's a hard testimony. But what I've learned is that there is no fault in him. That's right. He's perfect. He's, all, he, he, he's everything. Righteous, holy, all is well with the Lord Jesus Christ. That means when there's a loss of a young one, there has to be glory in it somewhere. Some of us don't want to look for it because we'd rather be mad. But here's what I'm doing this morning. See, I'm going to be done real fast. But listen to me. That kid may have been better off if they were going to end up in hell. That's right. Say, I don't know, preacher. No, I do. Amen. Eternity always outweighs Amen. right here. That's right. Always. You want 20 good years with them, 40 good years with them, and then an eternity in hell? No. no. Not what I'd want for my kid. Amen. So here's the deal, because everyone's always looking for proof, right? You can't. And I said last Sunday, you can't put God in some sort of test tube and test him, and, not, and that's accurate. But, but, you looking for proof today? Because I think, I think, Brother Dwayne, I think I've found some evidence about God's goodness. <laughs> and examining Him and saying, yeah, that, there's no doubt that the, the, that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. I think I found it. I think I found it. I really, I really do. I, here's what I'm going to do for the next few minutes. I'm going to try to exalt the Savior to the best of my ability. That's my number one priority in this church. Yep. Amen. Exalt Him. Yep. Then I'm going to edify you saints, and I'm going to evangelize any lost sinners sitting Amen. in here. Amen. 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 I, I, I always hope that there's going to be people here. As a pastor, you never get over that. You think, man, I hope so-and-so makes it. I hope so-and-so's here. They can really use this. God to help them, and it never fails. They're not here when they need it. That's right. That's right. But nevertheless, I'm still going to preach what God gives me. So we, we do in court what's called a cross-examination, right? You cross-examine a witness. Amen? Amen. So we've got all these people witnessing against God, and I'm going to sort of cross-examine them by testifying of some of the evidence I've seen of the Lord. Is there anyone in here that... that and, and I didn't write everybody down. So if I don't say anything about you, do not let the devil get in your mind and think I left you out specifically. Amen? Amen. Amen. But is there anyone in here this morning that is, 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 is ashamed of any part of their testimony before they got saved? No, sir. Nope. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. Two, two, only two vouch. <laughs> so if you're one that is, that's your own fault for not speaking up. <laughs> I just started this direction. Brother Ellis texted this morning and said he wouldn't be here. And I let him know. I said, man, that stinks. I was going to put you in the message this morning for a minute. He said, I'll watch live, so I'm going to keep you a minute. I'm talking about evidence of the Lord. Amen. But you got that? Come on, yeah. Talking about examining the Lord, just see how good he is. Amen. I don't know about, I know me and Mike and Brother Jeremy, I don't remember if there's anybody else out there, but Brother Ellis got saved on a Wednesday night. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Wednesday yeah. night. Amen. Amen. Oh, preacher, I think we ought to just cancel Wednesday nights because nope. they just ain't me. Guy, you shut your mouth, brother. Amen. As long as there's a chance a soul will get saved that's on a Wednesday right. night, amen. we will have church on Wednesday night. That's right. Amen. Amen. amen and amen. amen. But me and Mike and Jeremy, I don't know about them too. I can't speak for them, but I'll never forget Brother Ellis getting saved that Wednesday night. That's right. That boy was under some problems, man. I don't know all of them. I, don't, I ain't going to share them because he ain't here to testify. But he was under some problems. And he was screaming and yelling about the devil messing with him. And get, I'm starting to get nervous. I thought he was about to have a Pentecostal fit out there. <laughs> and I'm like, man, I've been around people getting saved before, but I ain't quite seen this one. I just stand back and let the Lord handle this one. Amen. And Ellis is screaming, devil, get away from me. Get away from me. Get I don't want Amen. you around my family. I don't want nothing. Ellis got saved. Amen. He got Amen. saved. Amen. He got saved. Amen. And they've been faithful Amen. in this church ever since. Amen. And him and Becca started a life together. And I want to say on his testimony, God's been good to them. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Going right back down the line, Brother Jeremy, give his testimony a little bit, but Jeremy was a Pharisee. Yes. Amen. It feels good to call him that. <laughs> he was a Pharisee. Amen. He was a church brat like Zorn preached about in that meeting we was in. Yes. He did church his whole life. There's a, there's a dangerous side to that if mom and daddy right. don't do their part. Right. Right. You come up your whole life thinking you're automatically saved because you're part of the family That's and you've been right. in church your whole right. life. Yeah. But Jeremy will tell you, I'm not I'm not saying anything. He wouldn't tell you. He said this one the before. But he was a Pharisee. He wasn't saved and he tried to act like he was. He would he would tell people that he was saved while yeah. getting drunk, living in filth and fornication. Yeah. Sorry, Jeremy, yeah. if that embarrasses That's you. Right. But I feel like God been so good to us. Why we need to be ashamed? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Living in a, in a drunken stupor, living in filth, living in wine, women, and song. Yep, that's right. And now he's standing behind a pulpit teaching Sunday school. Amen. Now he's got a wife and two little girls. Amen. I'm talking about the evidence of God Amen. today. Amen. Amen. You say, well, I don't believe God's real. But you tell me, dummy, you tell me this morning. Amen. I got I got news today. He's real. Amen. 
I'm going to jump right across to his wife, Kayla. She said, I had permission. Yeah. She used to be a pot smoking wild child. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. Pot smoking wild child, one of them hippies. Yep. Yep. Left handed right. cigarettes, That's brethren. Right. Yeah. Wild child. I don't know everything else she did. It ain't none of my business, but I know enough to know this about my life, my testimony, what God right. delivered me from. She was doing stuff she didn't need to be yeah. doing. Amen. She got saved on Super Bowl Sunday. I forget what year. I'm not good at that stuff, but it was on a Super Bowl Sunday. Churches should still have church. Super Bowl Sunday night. I didn't have that in my notes, and God brought it to my remembrance. All these pantyways churches, and we're just going to quit having church on Sunday night. What about those that will die and go to hell because you didn't have it? She gets saved Super Bowl Sunday night. Amen. Amen. Now she's singing for the Lord. Amen. And now you're talking about a woman, and I'm going to get real personal here, that the doctor said you can't have no kids. That's right. right. I'd have them two hold them babies up right now for everyone to see. Amen. Huh? Amen. I'm getting Holy Ghost chills. Somebody better help me. Amen. Doc said you can't. God said I can. Amen. God said it'll never happen. Amen. God said just trust and obey and believe. Amen. Amen. I got two babies now. Yeah, if you don't know this, I'm a little anti-doctor sometimes. Amen. They're good in their place, but they are not the Lord Jesus Christ. They do not have the power and the authority to tell you when something will happen or when it won't happen. They are making an educated guess, just like a weatherman as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, they have more knowledge about some things than me. But when I study things or I watch people's lives where the doctors say, no, it won't never happen. You better get on this medicine. Kayla does what any mama would want to do if they're wanting to have kids. She says, give me the medicine. And the next thing you know, she goes to the doctor and he said, you're pregnant. And that medicine ain't even had time to start working in your Amen. body yet. Amen. That's because the Holy Ghost of God Amen. got in there ahead of that stuff and said, no, we don't need none of this stuff. I'll just go on and do it. Amen. I'm talking about it. I'm about to get Pentecostal. Amen. I'm talking about evidence, evidence, evidence Amen. that God's doing things. Evidence Amen. that God's still on the throne. Amen. I don't know everything about Brother Dwayne, Sister Alicia, but Sister Alicia got saved not long ago, and you ain't going to tell me it ain't changed things in their life. Amen. I, I, I didn't know Brother Dwayne until they started coming to this church, but I know enough about what he said. He was a wild child. Yeah, right. He liked to bust people in the head. I know him and Mike used to like to do that. And I ain't too sure they wouldn't still do it if it needed to be done. Right. Yep. Say, I'll turn the other cheek. Paul said, if it's possible, live peaceful with all of yep. them. Right. There comes a time when it ain't possible anymore. Right. Right. Amen. 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 Some of these people need to get their Bible straight, but God's been good to them. Amen. They've been faithful in the church. Amen. Sister Alicia yeah. Applegate got saved. She's teaching young'uns. Right. Teaching these kids. Amen. 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 I'm still talking about evidence. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Sister Jamie, can you hear me in there? <laughs> Stick your head out here and wave at everybody. This is Miss Jamie. I, I don't know all of her details, but I can tell you the first couple of times she came by our house when we was having church events, I thought that is one wild woman. <laughs> A judgmental. Us Baptists are good at it. I thought boy Candle's got her hands full there. Hey, Amen. Amen. Jamie, I hope this doesn't offend you, but she was dressed in not a very modest way every time I seen her. That's right. She seemed to be boy crazy like some of y'all get when you're some of you girls get. Let me testify to that. When you're young and dumb and hormones are raging like I understand all that, but she was doing stuff she didn't need to be doing. And finally one day she ends up pregnant and you say you got all these bad I can't believe you getting pregnant. God can still make a, right. a, a good thing out of a mess. Amen. That's right. She wasn't saved That's yet. Right. Some of these Baptists need to get that through their head. Quit expecting right. lost people to live like saved people. Right. Yeah. She gets pregnant, starts coming to church. God ends up saving her. She begins doing things, doing things for the church and helping out and serving. Right. Now she's up here singing with the girls. Amen. So a little bit of time passes. Brother Travis, I like Brother Travis. He comes into her life. I'm talking about God being good to see Amen. Amen. Now she goes from Amen. little old little old Vander. Little old Vander. Now they've got Aiden. Now Amen. she's got a husband. Amen. Now they've got a home. Amen. Now they've got a family. Amen. I'm talking about God yeah. being good to people. Amen. Amen. Now she's Amen. saved, serving the Lord. Amen. Brother Travis comes in. I'm glad that they met because he's a good worker. Amen. Amen. It means like I keep bringing up, we're out there driving them tent stakes for the tent revival. Shane gets to sit back and kind of watch a little bit more. Amen. Amen. But Brother Travis, you've been a blessing to her. I don't have to, I, I know she would testify to the same, but God's been good to you all. Amen. Right. Can, can, I, can I keep poking this bear? Travis got saved on a Sunday night. Amen. Amen. Right. Travis got saved on a Sunday night. That's right. Right. Not a Sunday morning. Yep. On a Sunday night. That's right. That's right. Sunday night's still important. Yeah. 
That's right. Yeah. Travis, I don't know much about your life, so I ain't going to pretend like I do, but I just got a feeling you were doing stuff you shouldn't have been because you're a guy and you're lost. That's right. Amen. 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 The Bible says we're all wicked, so I, I got a good idea. Yeah. Miss Destiny, I don't remember what year you got saved. You have to forgive me. But I remember you got saved and you lived in a war zone for a lot of years. <clears throat> I'm not going to name call. Some of you already know. But she lived in a war zone. Right. Yep. Amen. Amen. And I did everything I could. I'm not doing this for myself. But I did everything I could to try to fix that for her by preaching and meeting and talking. And it just never would happen. Yeah, that's yep. right, that's right. I'm talking about God still being good. That's right. Yep. And I'm sure there was times it didn't feel like things were very good. And then comes Tanner over there. Amen. I'm talking about God blowing Amen. winds through. Yes. Blowing yes. winds through sometimes. Yes. And now she's got... A, I'm, just, I'm not good at being modest. She's got a better man. Yes. Okay? I just say what it is. And this ain't nothing I wouldn't tell with the other one's face. She ended up better off. Yes. Yes. And I, we, I think the world of Tanner, and I know he'd been saved already, but he come, started coming to church about tent revival. God started dealing with him. God's been dealing with him and been trying to get things in order, and he's talking to me and this and that. And God's been good to him. Amen. Yes. Destiny went from her three youngins, so now they've got the other one. Y'all yeah. got, got a bigger family. Yeah, Amen. Right. Amen. Listen to me. I know them kids ain't always, they don't always seem like a blessing, but they are. That's yeah. right. And I'm talking about God doing stuff to that church. Amen. Brother Charlie. Didn't know you that much till you started really coming over here. But he testified and says he was into the occult stuff. He claimed he was a Satanist. He did all this and did all this stuff and then God saved him. Right. And now he's behind a pulpit giving devotions. Now he gets up and preaches. Now he's going to evangelize. Now he's, do this stuff. now he's got a wife and he's got his young that are doing things and serving God and yes. going to national. All this stuff. Now things have changed for Charlie. Yes. And it's not because of me. It's not because of you. It's because of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Right. Plain and simple. You say, is he real? i got news for you. He's real, honey. He's real as he gets. Right. Real as he gets. Real as he gets. Miss Nikki. Yes, sir. Filthy mouth drinking. I know some of your testimony. Amen. Now she's up here singing. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Now she's got a boy. If you don't know this, has been kind of inquiring a little bit about wanting to give a message sometime. Amen. Yeah. I'm talking about God being Woo! good. And she's got a young girl Amen. that I know is anointed of God to be singing. Amen. Amen. You say, well, I don't know. No, listen. It ain't about me picking favorites. It's about I'm watching things. Amen. And some Amen. people just got it on them. That's right. It's just God doing, using them. You just have to you just have to adjust to that. I, I'm thankful for all the kids that sing, but there's always that one that you can tell God's going to do something with them. Amen. 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 And that's what she's got now. Amen. Of God. Right. Of God. Amen. 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 This stuff doesn't just a poof out of thin air like the Big Bang people teach and this and that. It happens because there's a divine hand moving pieces together right. and saving souls today. That's right. Some of y'all getting quiet. I hope it's because you're crying. <laughs> Saved her. Took the took the took the drink from her. Took Amen. the filthy mouth out of yes. the, the words yeah. out of her mouth. And then give her. A few young ones. How many kids you got again? <laughs> hey, man. She gets that question a lot. Her might got enough for a basketball team, but glory to God, that just made the church bigger. Amen. I wouldn't trade none of these kids for nothing. None of these kids. Amen. 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 But now she's got young ones that are, that are coming up in the ways of the Lord. Like Amen. I said, that oldest one, old one y'all be praying for him. If God's really Amen. trying to deal with him, preach, that's a big deal. Yeah. He needs support. He needs support. Amen. Take it from someone who knows. He yeah. needs support. I'm talking about God, His evidence of how good He's been. That's right. Brother Gary, I've heard you testify about you guys being drinkers. Drunkards. Is that okay to use that word? And then his niece comes over and sees it, goes and tells her mama that they need to be praying for Kathy and Gary because they're drinking, doing things they shouldn't, and then all of a sudden they start going to church and Holy Ghost conviction falls. Amen. Amen. And now Gary's up here every Sunday night preaching the Word of God. Amen. I'm talking about God doing stuff Amen. in our lives. Amen. Gary's got a saved young in here, and he's got a saved young in over yonder. That that that's because God. That's, right. that's because yep. God. Amen. That's because God. It ain't because Amen. I did anything good or you did anything good. It's because of God that's doing right. good. Amen. amen and amen. Amen. I'm gonna go to the one way back here, Mike. I know a little bit about your testimony. Amen. Filthy mouth, dope cooking, fornicating, drunk. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Just being honest. Yep. Amen. I don't think you should talk about this stuff. Why not when God delivered amen. somebody from this? Yes, amen. 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 I said filthy mouth, fornicating, dope, cooking, drunk. That's yeah. right. And now he's back there as a trustee of the church. He's teaching kids. Yep. He's doing things in life. Yep. 
he sings sometimes. I think he's going to start singing a little bit more. Hopefully, just play yeah. conviction on him. But he's also got them same young, same young as the Nicky's got. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Like their family gets to enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Look, I'll, I'll finish on this one. You're a pastor. How's that sound? Amen. Yeah. I'm talking about a dope smoking, dope snorting, cussing, fornicating, drunk, wicked pile of garbage right here before you. Amen. And I'm standing behind a pulpit. Right. Amen. 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 That's right. It don't Amen. make any sense. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yes. But it's the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It don't make any sense. That's why these people that always want to examine the Lord and act like it's not real, it's like, how can you how can you not see it? Right. I used to go by this church down here, Mag Church, when I was lost and without God, and I'd be drunk and loaded up on nine kinds of God knows what, and I'd hang out the head, my head out the window and shout some of the most obscene things at them people walking into church, call them a bunch of hypocrites, and God'd sit back and smile and say, yeah, you just wait, buddy. Amen. You just wait, buddy. You just wait, buddy. And I'm sitting here thankful unto God He didn't kill me and cast me off in hell. I'm thankful that He called me to preach and called me to pastor, and I'm just talking about the evidence that He's been good. Amen. I've had, I've had people, we ain't had this in a long time, but when I first got called to preach, y'all be surprised, they had people that used to run around that would come to church just to see if it was really true. Yeah. Yeah. He, uh, he's a preacher now. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Not of my own accord. Well, last time I knew him, he was doing meth, and he was doing prescription pain pills, and he was drinking, and he was doing all this stupid stuff. Not anymore. Amen. Not anymore. Amen. Not anymore. Amen. Thanks to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Not anymore. Yes. Who's the culprit for all that stuff? The Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hey, I, here's the thought I had because we're examining him and I cross examine them witnesses and I've come to a conclusion they're a bunch of liars. God's good. God's good. Amen. God's good. Y'all's testimony is more than enough evidence Amen. that I could ever need. What God's done in my family, saving my wife. My wife was kind of in the same boat as Jeremy. She thought she was saved her whole life and God finally dealt with her, convicted her. She got right. saved. As far as I'm concerned, she's the best mama, the best wife, the best anything I could ever ask for. Amen. I got one young and saved and another one getting real close. Amen. Amen. And I'm just I'm just thankful for the Lord. Amen. 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 Because I'm not worried about this trash hole down here. Amen. I want to see you saved. I want to see people saved. But this world is not my home. I'm just right. passing right. Right. I just want to see people saved. Amen. I want us to grow doctrinally and in the scriptures. Absolutely, yes. we need to to be effective and to That's be where right. God wants us to yes. be. Yes. But at the end of the day, I just want to know we're all saved Amen. and we're going to heaven. Amen. And so here's what I'm saying. If God, if the Lord Jesus Christ is on trial for being good, if he's on trial for being a good God, if he's on trial for changing lives, if he's on trial for making old things pass away and all things become new, I say guilty, Amen. guilty, Amen. guilty, Amen. guilty, Amen. guilty. Amen. He is right. guilty of that. Right. He has right. done change things in my life, change things in some of y'all's life. I didn't get all of them. But if you're you saved, right. you should be able to look back and say, yep, I'm not that way anymore by the grace of God, Amen. by the power of God, because I've been washed in the blood, and He is holy, holy, holy. And I say, yeah, He's guilty of being good today. Right. He's real. You can take it or leave it. You can ignore it all you want to your blue in the face. But I think I won't serve the one that does that stuff in people's Amen. lives. Amen. When he can take a dope smoking, dope cooking, dope snorting, alcoholic, fornicating, filthy mouth person and set their feet upon the solid rock Amen. and yes. put them in better clothes and better conditions and all this stuff and get yep. them into a church every yep. Sunday, Amen. every Sunday morning, Amen. every Sunday night, every Wednesday night. I'm talking Amen. about giving them a good marriage and giving them a good relationship with their kids, giving them a joy in their heart like they've never known before and do all that for them. I think I'll just testify this morning. Amen. He's real. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 Sing and make your way up here this morning. About preach my guts out this morning. Somebody Amen. this morning, please, please think about him and how marvelous he is. And if you're here this morning and you're lost, please, please come to that same conclusion by his power this morning. That he's good. Amen. He's real. Amen. I got I got so carried away this morning. I didn't even give you nothing about the text I read. Where he said, He's the way, the truth, and the life. That's a claim, brother. That's a claim. That is a claim to make. Some of us need to get up and thank God for what He's done in our life. And thank God for what all He's going to do in our lives. And thank God for things that are to come. And realize that if it wasn't for Him, we'd be in a mess today. We'd be in a mess today, brethren.